It is as we were coming up to the new year in times with the Lord, the Lord began to speak to me and tell me things about the future. This is what the Lord is saying. We are going to face unprecedented times in the next three years. Great challenges. The social situation in this nation is going to face major shakedown and we must be ready for it. The church is not going blindly into the future. We must be people that see clearly. It's because of the three years that God spoke to me about that the church here must not only be ready for it to come, for the people within this church, but we must be ready to meet the needs of society. So each month, we will be taking up a special offering ready for what society is facing. Hi, I'm Maggie Knight from the Joseph Fund here at All Nations Church. For those of you not familiar with the Joseph Fund, it was set up following um, a prophetic word that God gave to our apostle, Kerry Jones, over five years ago. For the last two or more years, the Joseph Fund team have been responding to need and distributing the funds. We've had a wide variety of um, people who've approached us for help. Everything from rapid response to food requests through to help with for people who've lost their jobs in this current pandemic. The Joseph Fund has already had a tremendous impact on people um, in Cardiff and beyond. And what I've done is I've asked um, James, who's a social worker here in Cardiff, um, to tell of the impact for him and his clients um, and also ask some of the members of the Joseph Fund team to read some of the thanks that we've had, just to, so you can see the impact that your giving has had. My name is James and I'm from Cardiff. I'm a social worker for Cardiff Council Local Authority. I have a massive heart for the homeless. So, um, so I do some, you know, separate to my job. You know, I feel called by the Lord really to kind of minister and just, just love on the homeless and just be led by Jesus. To be honest, the, the Joseph Fund has been an absolute lifeline for, you know, several people um, over, over the last few years. There was um, a young gentleman which had been on the street for many, many years in his 20s, you know, experiencing mental health issues, drug addiction, um, isolation, loneliness. He was brought up in the care system and um, the local authority actually provided him with a flat. And the Joseph Fund, like I said, has been a lifeline for him. We were able to ask fun, you know, access funds to give him, um, you know, a bed, a microwave. We were able to, you know, give buy him cutlery. So the Joseph Fund has just absolutely kitted out his flat for him, you know, and, get, and and helped him with his independence really. And along with doing that, it's been a really good, you know, um, tool to talk to people about Jesus, you know, because we're saying, you know, this, this fund is from the heart of Jesus. He absolutely loves you, you know, and he wants to, you know, make your life better and let him know that he is there for you. Hello to ever who could be reading. I've been struggling in uni with having to write essays on a broken laptop. There is no way I could have been able to get the money to fix or replace it and I've been at a bit of a loss. But I can't thank you, Joseph and team, enough for how much you have helped in providing me with a laptop. You are truly doing God's work, and I am so grateful to you all. It shows me how much of a family the kingdom really are. Thank you. Kiss, kiss. I wanted to say thank you for helping us to have a service to say goodbye to an amazing husband and father. Whilst nothing can ease the pain of losing him, your kindness shows that people really do care. Wow, you and your team are absolutely amazing. 
I thank you so much and I absolutely thank God. God is great and has been my rock throughout all this. Kept me going when I didn't think I could go on. And again, I thank you. I'm absolutely so grateful for this blessing. The Bible teaches us a lot about the importance of giving thanks. And I'd just like to say a couple of thank yous. First of all, thank you to our Heavenly Father who's so compassionate that he prepared us for such a time as this so that we can be available to help people. And thank you to the elders of the church here in Cardiff and for Kerry for being faithful to that word and for everybody who gave into the fund. Without your help, we would not, and your generosity, we would not be able to do the work that we're doing today. Um, we've got a very simple application process um, and also strong governance to back that up. But if you do come across anybody in need or you're in need yourself, you'll find the details of um, the email address for the Joseph Fund on the All Nations website um, or you can contact one, a member of the team and Dave does put it regularly out in the um, church bulletins. Um, but do feel free to give any of the team a shout if you're not sure. I have no family or friends, but I just have to do my best. But I have a big heart and I like to help others. So during lockdown, I cooked meals for my neighbours until my cooker got too dangerous and I had to stop using it altogether. I said to my neighbour who goes to your church, I can't do my special meals for you anymore, but I will try and save for a cooker as soon as I can. And then I went into shock the Joseph Fund was mentioned to me. So I filled in the Joseph Fund form and they called me to say they are happy to help. I was and am still in shock. I can't believe what they were saying. The Joseph Fund were getting little old me a new cooker. Things like this don't happen to me. I had been crying and worrying about the gas safety check coming up. I feel like a massive weight has been lifted from my shoulders. And now I can start to feel more hopeful about life and sleep better too. In all my life, no one has ever been this kind to me. I've always had to struggle and I have never had a new cooker before. This may just be a cooker to you, but to me, I will never, as long as I have air in my lungs, forget the Joseph Fun generosity. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. This is my dream cooker and you made me believe dreams do come true. I want us at all times to be confident to know this. No matter what comes our way, God is good. All the time. In every situation and in every circumstance.